Boom. Cable TV. Bankroll Freddy. Artist over at QC. Signed to QC. Recently caught up in a 61-page indictment. 34 other members arrested, including Bankroll Freddy. Hmm. Now, this is crazy. Bankroll Freddy, he's out of Lil Rock, Arkansas. Yeah, I ain't no Lil Rock. Give it up like that. <laughs> yeah, right. Everywhere has a hood. Everywhere has a ghetto. Everywhere got some real niggas in that section. And apparently, Bankroll Freddy, he wanted them real niggas in that section. If he was oblivious to this coming down on him and the people involved, then I would say he's an idiot. Why? Because Bankroll Freddy has had many run-ins with the police before. Alleged shootings, this, that, and the third. You feel me? So having run-ins with the police for violent acts, they're watching you. They're watching the people around you. They're watching the things you do. So probably he knew to himself it was only a matter of time. And maybe even QC known. It's probably a matter of time. It's crazy nowadays that these labels are really signing guys that are liabilities. You see, back in the day, if you were a liability, the label would really try to get you away from the hood, get you away from the nonsense, the stuff that could potentially mess up their investment. Nowadays, these rappers are going to jail back to back. To me, it's like, damn, if you invest in this guy one day, tomorrow he's gone. Example, Fujiano. Another example, Pooh Shiesty. Them boys is cold as ice, but they was hot like fire a year, two years ago. You see where I'm coming from? It's like you're investing money. It's like stock. You're investing money, and where's the return? I mean, I don't think the people are still listening to their music. I could be wrong. But if they're not dropping nothing new, like I said, it's crazy. Bankroll Freddy, same thing. Signed the QC. Now you're going to be incarcerated. They're going to make money off his catalog. Nine out of ten, he doesn't own his masters. I doubt it. He probably doesn't own his masters. New artist. And that's how it goes. Also, Lil Baby. 4PF, hope they not mixed up in no nonsense or nothing, man, because it's seeming to me like the feds is snatching up everybody. Everybody, everybody. They snatching up everybody. And to me, Lil Baby, 4PF, they are the bread and butter currently of QC. RIP Takeoff, they recently lost an artist, one third of the Migos. It's crazy. Someone called me the other day and they said it to me. Because you see, when people say things, it, it hit different from when you just think about it. And they said, hey, the Migos is done. I was like, wow, I never thought of that. Wow. That's a fact, dog. Like, the Migos is done, bro. Like, facts. Because, you know, everybody's still, you know, taking in the death of takeoff. When... when I was like, wow, like, when you think about it, it's like, damn, bro, like, for real, like, yeah, the Migos is done. How they gonna be the Migos if, you feel me? And you can't replace Takeoff. It, it, this ain't Pretty Ricky, where they got a new member every, <laughs> you feel me? This ain't Pretty Ricky. It's the Migos we talking about right here. Honcho, Takeoff, and Offset, man. And even when Offset was locked up, Takeoff and Honcho held it down. Facts. End of an era, man. It's ridiculous, man. End of an era. Feel me? But Bankroll Freddy. Hmm. 34 members arrested. 61 page indictment. Boy, what y'all boys doing, man? Y'all need to get it together. But hey, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you already subscribed, stay subscribed. I drop daily videos, daily uploads. You're now welcome to Cable TV. Yeah.